We did this with the Off-White Collection recently, and now we are doing it with the Nike Dornbecker Freestyle 2017 Collection. Now, I know a lot of you are already familiar with the Dornbecker Hospital. This has been going on for 14 years now, since 2003. Yep. So they've had 85 patient designers, and they've raised $17 million, or maybe even a little bit more than $17 million so far for the hospital, which that in and of itself is awesome. Yeah, we talk cool. about sneakers and using sneakers to do good things, and this is that. You have these kids who are patients at the Dornbecker Hospital and who are really struggling and fighting and persevering and just displaying a tremendous amount of strength. Yeah, you know stuff that a lot of people can't even relate to. You know the stuff that they're dealing with on a daily basis. Yeah. So I just think it's cool that uh, Nike and the Dornbecker Hospital have teamed up to do something really, really good. So I think everybody knows and recognizes and acknowledges that this is a really good cause. Yeah. Okay, we are going to rank the six sneakers. So how do we want to do this? We want to do it from least favorite to most favorite? Yeah. So my least favorite out of the collection is the Janoski Tylen Hibbard designed these. And I actually think it's a pretty cool colorway. The reason why I say least favorite is I don't wear Janoskis. Yeah, me either. And so I have had Janoskis and I have worn them in the past, but it's just not really, I'm just really not a fan of that sneaker model, especially right now. Yeah. So, I mean, I love that colorway. This is, it's like this colorway. Exactly. This is, uh, this is my high school colorway. Buckets High School uh Jerseys, uniforms, basketball uniforms. This is what they wear right here. This was your high school colors. Blue and yellow. So you, you like this colorway then? Blue and yellow, blue and yellow, blue and yellow. There you go. Yeah. I, I really like the colorway. I, I think that it's also my least favorite. I'm just not a huge Janoski guy. Same. Same. But one of the things that I think is cool is how each kid is able to, just like we did with our sneaker, with yeah. our Saucony sneaker, you want to put parts of yourself into that shoe and things that mean things to you. And that's really all that matters. Yeah. There's a lot of nautical and fisherman details in the sneaker. And that's something that that's him. He took that and put it into a sneaker and that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Right. Next on the list, this would be number five is the Nike Air Max Thea Ultra Flyknit by Amia Robinson, 11 years old. Now, with this sneaker, I mean, obviously she's a young girl. Yeah. So colorway wise, it, it's not something that I would wear. But again, you've got to love the fact that the kids are able to put the details that are important to them yeah. into the sneaker. You know, she's got a state map of Oklahoma. She's from Oklahoma, hardly home, but always repping. Doesn't matter where you're from. It's always dope to see somebody really rep where they're from yeah. and be proud of where That's, they're from. It's the coolest thing to me. Exactly. It does not get any better than that. Doesn't so, matter where, where you're from. Little town, big city. Exactly. Could Rep be it. could be Fargo, North Dakota, or could be Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. You know, it, it doesn't matter. But if that's where you're from and that's who you are, it's really cool to you know kind of rep that. Yeah. Next would be the Nike Air Hirachi Run Ultra by Braden Sparkman. Yep. The reason being, I like Hirachis. Yeah. I'm not as Hirachi crazy as some other people I know, but the Hirachi is is a dope sneaker model. Yeah. This colorway again. Probably not something that I would wear. Yeah. But again, you know, another thing you have to keep in mind, right? These are young kids designing the sneakers. Yeah. So what a grown adult would wear, or what they'd be drawn to colorway-wise, yeah. is not necessarily what a young kid Absolutely. would be. You know, and, and so I think that that's what's cool to me, that it is young kids. You know, right, because we see all these collaborations in the world of sneakers. It's not young kids doing it. Yeah. So this is like the one thing where young kids are able to take their ideas and their creativity and and push it, you know what I mean? And well yeah, within the world of sneakers. Right, exactly. That's what that, that's what I mean. With this sneaker, it's a 13-year-old kid. Yeah. So you know you have to keep that in mind. You know, what you're going to like at 13 is not the same thing you're going to maybe like at 25 is not necessarily the same thing you're going to like at 45. Yeah. So it, quick anecdote, hit me. I know a kid who was going to have a brother his mom was pregnant. Okay. The mom said, We're, you know, you're going to have a brother, blah, 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 blah. Right. She said, you can name him. Mm -hmm. I think he was like five years old. Guess what he named his brother? Five years old. What, what was the name? Rock Blaster. 
And, wow. And, and, and they held to it. Rock Blaster. And they Rock, called, Rock Blaster. They, they, they call him Rocky. But his name is but, Rock but Blaster. But his name on his birth certificate is Rock, Rock Blaster. And that is the greatest thing. Like That's one of the greater things I've ever heard. Yeah. Like a little kid like would want his name to be Optimus Prime or Reptar or something. Yeah, something something cool. Yeah. You know? Like, who are we to know what's cool? Yeah. You know what I mean? Why do we know what's cool more than an 11-year-old does yeah, or exactly. a 13-year-old does? So it's just, you know, different preferences, different points in your life and whatever, yeah. you know? So, you know, and this collection in general is very blue and very bright and very, like, very young. Yeah. You know? They still have their message in the sneakers, and that's dope. Yeah. But for me, colorway-wise, yeah, probably not something that I would wear. Yeah. Next is the Air Jordan 12 by Carissa Navarro. And in a way, these are my favorite. But again, there's, you know, there's pink and, and, and different things. So for me personally, not really a sneaker I would wear. But number one, there's a basketball on the outsole yeah. all his life. So respect. Also, she's got a lot of the sneakers dedicated to her sister who oh, actually wow. kept her alive. And it's just, a, it's, that's really cool. Obviously, you and I are brothers, so the family thing is important to us. And I just, that alone almost makes it my favorite sneaker. Yeah. All the sneakers and all the kids and all the kids who have ever done it and all the kids in the hospital, like, they have moving stories. And that's the, the fact that Nike allows them to communicate in this creative way yeah. when they're facing adversity is super cool. It, it is. And it raises a ton of money, yeah. which is good, too. Yeah. So it, it's, it's a win-win. Yeah. You know I love the Jordan 12 yeah. also. But, you know, with like a pink camo outsole. But again, it's about the individuality of each kid. Yeah. Number two, my second favorite sneaker is the Nike Air Vapor Max by Andrew Meredith. 15-year-old kid, and it's inspired by his favorite BMX jersey. Oh, wow, that's cool. That's very cool. You and I, we grew up riding bikes. Yeah. I mean, that was the thing. Like, you got pegs. You get your, you're driving all around. It's like that was your independence as a young kid depended on like your bike game. Oh yeah, for sure. And it was, uh, you know, I have a lot of good memories riding around on, on bikes. And so I think that that's pretty cool. And also, you know, I, I like the colorway. And this is the first sneaker that I've mentioned so far that I would actually wear. Again, it's super bright, yeah. which, you know, I haven't been wearing a lot of bright stuff at, you know, lately, but at different times in my life I have. Yeah. You know I love the Vapor Max. You all, probably know I love the Vapor Max. If you watch the videos regularly, you surely do. I rant and rave about how good the Vapor Max is. I believe that. One of my favorite, probably my favorite new sneaker. Absolutely. It's, um, and I just think you did a really good job with them. I think they're cool. And a lot of times that's what it comes down to too. Of course, the details are awesome, but the details are great on all these kids' sneakers. Yeah. The colorway is very important, but a lot of times it comes down to the sneaker model. And is it a sneaker model or silhouette that I like and that I wear, you know, because I don't just like and wear every sneaker. Yeah. But I like these a lot. So Buckets and I agree straight through to this point. And number one, too. Yeah. Number one, my favorite sneaker, our favorite sneaker in the entire Dorm Becker Freestyle 2017 collection is the Nike Air More Up Tempo by Brody Miller. Now, this kid is only 11 years old, by the way. We also have to say we're biased. Because this is one of our favorite, again, I was just talking about sneaker models and having to like the sneaker model. This is one of our favorite sneaker models of all time. Yeah. They're amazing. And again, it's a bright color, so it's not the normal colorway that I would wear, yeah. that you would wear. But I think he did a hell of a job on them. I, I think these are 38 fire emojis. So this kid is 11 years old, fighting a, a very serious brain condition. And he's an aspiring comic book artist. And he's created this alter ego called the Generator Man. And legend. Legendary. Comic books is something that we grew up liking too, yep. you know? So again, I think with sneakers a lot of times, it's just what you connect to and yep. what you relate to. And that's different for everybody. And that's why it's cool to see so many. These are all kids, right? Yeah. But they're fighting different diseases and they're from different places and they enjoy different things. And I think that that's cool, like I've mentioned several times already. So these are the sneakers that Generator Man would wear. And this Generator Man, he shoots healing energy out of his hands. Like, how, how ill is that? Like, what a great superpower, you know? Bong, bong, bong. Then on the side, you obviously, you have his initials. So the BPM also stands for beats per minute. You know, oh, oh yeah, which, yeah, which is awesome. You know, this kind of like little thing there. So 
Um, Double entendre? Exactly. Don't even ask me how. All of these kids have great details in the sneaker. This one is my favorite. Yeah. It's my favorite sneaker model, in fairness. And, and I just think they did a great job. But those are the six sneakers in this year's Doran Becker Freestyle Collection. Shouts to all the kids, man. Yeah. I think all the kids did a great job getting their message and what's important to them and their life and, and who they are into the sneaker. And that, in and of itself, is such a win. That's what matters. That's the point of it. Exactly. And again, we talked about it with our, with our sneaker. Yeah. That's what mattered to us, you know? And then the people who it resonates with and the people who relate to it and the people who dig it are the people who dig it. But the important thing is that you put a part of you into the shoe or parts of you into the shoe. And I think that every single one of these kids did that and it's really, really dope. I agree. So there you have it. Those are the six sneakers. Leave a comment below. Let us know how you would rank them. Which is your favorite? Are you planning on buying any? If you're, are you a fan of the Doran Becker freestyle collections of the past? I'll always love to hear from you. I don't have anything else, do you? No. Nope. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. Samurai Bao. This is Buckets in his new ASAP guest shirt. Feeling, feeling very spicy. Feeling very picante. Feeling very picante. This is Buckets. I am Foamy. We are out of here. Another fun fact for those of you who don't know, I actually named this fellow right here, Charlie. That's what I came up with. <laughs> you probably knew about two and a half names. Yep, I knew uh, Charlie and Ralph, and I went with Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, moe.